critically low on storage space. Your Amazon Fire TV is out of storage space. Clear up at least 500 megabytes on your device to continue. Additionally, you can remove apps by navigating to settings, applications, manage all apps. Have you experienced this? If you have, watch this video. We're going to try and help you. If you haven't, watch this video because it may be you next. Because I've got this message and I recently factory reset this Fire Stick and it doesn't have hardly any apps installed. Maybe one or two. That is it. So I'm going to show you now in my app section. If it even loads, problem is when you're low on space, um, you end up with really laggy device. OK, if you look here, I have 6.919 megabytes left. It is pretty much rammed to the brim. But look at my apps. Apart from what's already installed on the Fire Stick. Um, I've installed Downloader, Fast Task Killer. That's about it. My VPN, NordVPN, linked underneath if you do need a VPN. Um, and that's it. Everything else is just pretty much the apps which come with a Fire Stick. But my memory is full. And people are struggling and messaging me saying, why is my Fire Stick filled up? I've only installed three or four apps. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. But before we do that, do remember to hit that subscribe button if you're brand new here. We will keep you up to date and your device is running. If you're on a Fire Stick, streaming device, at NVIDIA Shield, any streaming device, or if you stream online, we will keep you up to date with the latest trends, apps, websites, what to use and how to use them. So hit that subscribe button. And obviously, if you're a regular watcher, do watch till the end. First things first, I'm going to need your help on this one. If you've had this error, let me know underneath. And when we do this, I'm going to need you to answer a question. So bear with me. Even if you haven't got the full critical error bit yet, I still want you to answer the question. So I'm sure many of you have followed videos of mine. OK, and where we've installed apps. Um, you've installed other YouTubers videos where you've installed apps and um, you've sideloaded, you've jailbroken, whatever you want to call it, and you've set up apps on your Fire Stick. And once you've got a few on there, you might have deleted those apps and then installed more apps again. And you think, oh, I've only got the same amount of apps, but my storage is really low. And as you saw, we only had 6.1 megabytes left. But I'm sure most of you to install this, you use an app called Downloader. So in your magnifying glass, type in Downloader and find your Downloader app, OK? Once you've got to your downloader app, you can open it if you want to. Um, and obviously, if you're trying to install now and your memory is full, you will get this. An unknown error has occurred. Check your allow. That's because my memory is full. I cannot download anything else. That is a reason why you might get that unknown error. But from your home screen, what you don't realize is every time you download a file, it stores on your Fire TV device. OK, so what I want you to do is tell me how many files you've got on your device. I have got loads. I've set this up today so I can show you a full Fire Stick, OK? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's crazy amounts on there. I've got about 50 on here, OK? Because of what I did, I installed loads of files so I could clog up my Fire Stick so I could show you how to fix it, OK? And these happen every time you install an app. This file is here, OK? So what you need to do is delete them. You do not need these files. These are not your applications. These are just the install file. So you download the install file, install it. This gets left behind and your application stays on your device. But if you look at some files uh, like these ones here are 85 megabytes. And if you've got five or 10 of them, that's nearly a gigabyte. And they're doing that for no reason. So if I show you now, I would delete all of these. And to delete them, you push the three lines on your remote and then push delete. OK. Three lines. Delete. OK, I'm going to quickly do mine now. And once I've deleted all of them, I will show you next time you install an app. How you make sure it doesn't store this file, OK? OK, now we've deleted all of those files, take a look at this. We're going to go back to our application setting on our Fire Stick. So back across to applications. We go to settings. And I want you to tell me how much space you freed up as well. So I'll go to applications. Manage installed applications. Look at that. I've now got 3.5 gigabytes spare when I had nothing a minute ago. But in here, I have still got the same amount of apps installed. OK, I didn't delete any apps. So you would have seen the app files for these two apps. Um, I did not delete them. They are still in there. And this app as well, Fast Task Killer, is still in there. 
So all I deleted was the install files, not the application. So now I've got a full, well, pretty much fully available Fire Stick ready to use. It's always worth keeping about one gigabyte spare just for your streaming anyway. So that is perfectly running now and I'm back to normal without deleting any apps. So you all need to check your downloader file. Okay, so in your downloader, you check that files thing. And next time you um, install an app, I'll do one quickly now. So you install your app, you click your download. Once it's installed, once you've done your install bit, this bit pops up. So instead of clicking done or open, you click delete. That deletes it. It doesn't delete the app, and then it will not go in this file section. Okay, it will not be in that file section. Right, you've got to let me know in the comments how many of those you had. And obviously, if that worked for you, and if you liked it, do hit that subscribe button for me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty of other little fixes on there, all on the channel for you over there. Also, new PC in the background. Hope you were liking it. Quickly before you leave, if you are after any other apps and you want to know how to install apps, I will link a video underneath how to install apps, and my website is linked underneath as well. There's an official YouTube video underneath. It's an official website of mine underneath as well, so do check them out. And if you are after a VPN, a quick word from one of our partners, NordVPN is a partner of ours, is also linked directly underneath for you if you are interested. They have got a great deal on there for you now. You just push get the deal. Um, you will get one month free on there on their greatest offer, £2.87 on their most popular plan. That gives you malware protection, tracker and ad blocker all there for you, linked directly underneath. I hope you like that. Um, if you don't know what a VPN is, do check out some of our other videos. We have quite a few on VPNs. We mention them on every video. They are partner with us. We only mention the VPN at the end of the video because they are a partner. We get a small commission if you buy a VPN. Lots of people who stream, lots of people who use the internet like to use a VPN for their safety and to access content, which is sometimes locked to them. That doesn't mean bypass payments to get content. It just means access content which may be locked due to your region or if you're out of country and you want to watch your content from home and it helps you stay safe online. Brilliant. So, before I leave, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, drop me those comments. I've been Doc Squiffy, and I'll see you soon.